بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیئر اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی کنٹینیو دا ٹاپک آف واٹ وی بین وی بین ڈسکسنگ پاور پاور فیکٹر فار دا پریویس ٹو ویڈیوز وی ٹو ڈے وی سی اے لٹل بٹ آف اے تھیوریٹیکل ٹاپک اینڈ دی ہیڈنگ آف وچ ووڈ بی ویل ویل سی ملٹیپل ٹاپکس ان دس سو دا فسٹ ون از دا ڈس ایڈوانٹیجز آف آف دا پور پاور فیکٹر دی ادر ووڈ بی دا کازز آف پور پاور فیکٹر let's say we are also talk about the improvement or maybe we skip to the, we we jump to the next video for that but for for instance the first one is the disadvantage of low power factor so disadvantage of what disadvantage of low power factor or disadvantages of low power factor so the first thing is that it will draw a greater current the system the system will tend to draw a greater current let's say if we talk about the power or the single phase power so what would be the power consumed is what it is the line voltage times the line current times the power factor right cause of phi right yes so this is for a single phase supply this implies what that the line current would be equal to what would be equal to p upon vl cause of phi similarly the three phase power for three phase supply would be you would have an under root three over here Uh, line voltage line voltage yes i l cause of phi again so have a look again uh, you uh, now you know where does this under root 3 come from right so again the line current for the three phase is again the same relation with an addition of under root 3 so which means what you can see this is for single phase and this one is for three phase so in both the cases you could see that the current drawn by the equipment the pl is the power consumed by the circuit or by the consumer and and the current drawn by the circuit that is the line current il is inversely proportional to what to the power factor to the cause of phi which means the higher the power factor the less is the current drawn and vice versa that is what the less the power factor the more is the current drawn by the circuit it is clear from the above that for a fixed power and voltage this il is inversely proportional to the power factor for what for a fixed value of power and voltage so for a fixed value of power and voltage the load current is inversely proportional to the power factor lower the power factor higher the load current and vice versa a power factor other than unity has the following disadvantages so number first is larger kva rating of equipment larger kva rating of equipment now what does this mean so we saw in the previous video that basically the power factor which is cause of phi i'll leave it power factor was the kilowatts divided by the kvas which means or you could say kva so from here you could say what that the kva rating is equal to the kilowatt consumed divided by the power factor so we saw through an example as well that if you reduce the power factor if you reduce the power factor so the kva rating for demanding for for supplying the same amount of power demand the kva rating increases and similarly for the same load demand at a higher power factor the kva rating of the equipment required is less So we've seen this we've already understood this point through the previous video example if you've not watched the link is in the description watch the next watch the previous video so at a higher power factor the kva rating decreases for the same amount of load for a lower power factor kva rating increases for the same amount of load right yes and if the kva rating increases this means what that the size of the equipment would increase the government taxes would increase the fixed charges would increase and the space requirement would increase hence the overall cost would further increase right so you can read it from the book you have a greater conductor size the second disadvantage would be greater conductor size this is the second disadvantage now what does this say to transmit a fixed to transmit or distribute a fixed amount of power at a fixed voltage the conductor will have to carry 
more current at a lower power factor if the current if the power factor is low the current would be high this necessities large conductor size so if you need to pass more current you need to have the you need to increase the conductor size for example take the case of a single phase AT mode, AC motor having an input of 10 kilowatts on full load so 10 kilowatts is the input at full load of an AC motor and the terminal voltage being 250 volts at a unity power factor so let's say this is the data given so what happens is then the current would be then the current would be what so 10 uh, 10000 divided by 250 the current would be from this rating the current would be 10000 divided by 250 and what would this come out to be this come out to be 40 amperes right now if the power factor is reduced at 0 0.8 power factor leading or lagging we're not interested lagging okay so what happens is the kva input would be what the kva input now we will not talk about the kilowatt input over here kilowatt was equal to kvas why because we had unity power factor but over here now we talk about the input in kvas so kva would be what the 10 kilowatt that is 10000 divided by the 0 0.8 which comes out to be what 8 kilowatts no, 10 divided by 0 0.8 is 12.5. 12.5. Now have a look. The KVA rating has increased. So the KVA input would be this much. Now the current drawn. Now the current drawn would be what? The current drawn at this particular amount of KVA. It would be 12.5 KVA divided by the voltage is 250. Now you now you would have a 50 amperes of current, which was previously 40 amperes. So the current has increased. If the motor is worked at a low power factor, the cross-sectional area of the supply cables and the motor conductors would be based upon a current of 50 amperes now. Right? Yes. So which means what would happen if the conductor size you are increasing, so the cable cost would increase and hence the current has also increased. So which means that the I squared R losses would also increase and the cost definitely increases right so this was the second disadvantage now the third disadvantage is large copper loss so of course of course this is what i'm talking about this is number third is large copper loss so this is due to the higher current that is it is drawing so i squared r is the power loss so the power loss is increasing and the efficiency of the system would decrease right yes this results in poor efficiency next you have is what you have poor voltage regulation number four now what is voltage regulation so voltage regulation i believe we have studied or if you have not studied so this is basically the sending and voltage minus the receiving and voltage vs minus vr over vs or what i don't uh, quite remember it we will have it in this book somewhere I will just uh, have a look yes so it is Vs minus Vr upon Vr so this is Vs upon minus Vr upon Vr so have a look Vs is the sending and voltage Vr is the receiving and voltage so let's see what the book has written about this the large current at low lagging power factor causes greater voltage drops in the alternators of course you would have a large current so the, the voltage drop is what the voltage drop would result is I times R or I times Z or whatever it is throughout the feeder throughout the equipment transformers whatever is connected so have a look the large current i is greater so at low power factor causes greater voltage drop in alternators transformers transmission lines and distributors this results in decreased voltage available at the supply end thus impairing the performance of utilization devices in order to keep the receiving and voltage within permissible limits extra equipment is required have a look 
the I if the I increases so which means the voltage drop would increase throughout the line throughout the transmission line transformers alternators whatever machinery is so which means that the receiving end voltage would decrease you will not get the required voltage at the receiving end right yes so then you would use what that would then you would use devices like voltage stabilizers voltage regulators which would further draw more current which would, would like to which would trend, tend to draw more current in order to facilitate the equipment and this would further decrease the power factor and the efficiency would further reduce so this results the, the, the thing is poor voltage regulation the ideal voltage regulation is it should be zero percent ideally zero percent ideally that that the voltage at the sending end should be equal to the receiving end so the voltage is zero percent whereas it is allowed till a ten percent you know uh, the maximum allowable limit you could say is a ten percent up to ten percent it's fine right yes so this is point number four then you have what then you have the reduced handling capacity of the system you have reduced handling capacity of the system now what does this mean reduced handling capacity of the system now this means what this means again the kva rating that the the the, the equipment is not fully utilized the equipment is not fully utilized at a lower power factor if you have a higher power factor the load demand would approximate to the what to the kva rating of the equipment which means you are utilizing the rating of the equipment but if it's down so you are not utilizing it completely the previous example is a complete uh, you know explanation of this point right yes causes of low power factor causes of low power factor what is uh, you know making this power factor low so I will just try it. causes of low power factor so let's say this is the second topic for the day subtopic this was the first so the causes are what number first most of the AC motors are of induction type AC motors they are of what of induction type induction type motors are the number one thing to deteriorate your power factor three phase and single phase inductor motors have very low lagging power factors these motors work at a power factor which is extremely small at no load at no load they even fell down fall down to 0 0.2 0 0.3 power factor lagging whereas at no load still they have a higher power factor that is 0 0.7 0 0.8 is the higher is the power factor at no load at full load sorry whereas at no load they have a very very low power factor and this is you know uh, uh, damaging the overall power factor of your system right yes arc lamps electric discharge lamps Industrial heating furnaces operate at a low power factor. So these things are, you know, absolute, absolute, you could say. But the thing is that your refrigerator, so I will write over here, fridge, your ACs, your electric fans, these things have lower power factors. Energy savers. Well, nowadays, energy savers are again, you know, not used. Nowadays is the, uh, is the era of LEDs, but energy savers have a low power factor as low as 0.4 right yes so these things uh, these are the things that will damage your power factor the other point is that the load on the power system is varying the load on the power system is varying so i will let this point over here is a varying load and then i will just read it out from the book so what do they say that the load on the power system is varying being high at some period of time and low at the other time so during the low period the supply voltage is increased which increases the magnetization current now we as the supply voltage is increased you could say or the voltage is increased which increases the magnetization current this magnetization current is that current which flows through the through the transformer magnetic part of the transformer and through the induction type i will just tell you magnetization current increases if the magnetization current increases this results in a decreased power factor 
this results in a decreased power factor magnetization is that current which flows through transformers and inductive equipment it flows through what through transformers and inductive equipment now if this flows through inductive equipment which means the reactive component is increasing the reactive component is i times sine of phi is increasing and if i times sine of phi is increasing this means what that the power factor is reducing power factor is reducing right yes the voltage has increased during low periods this is the ferranti effect you would have heard the name we'll see it in power distribution one day inshallah but the thing is that you have one line you have a neutral so uh, you have what two potentials higher potential lower potential in between is a medium air is a medium right so what would this happen two potentials isolated by a medium is what is a capacitor so the the receiving end voltage a capacitor is built across a transmission line a long transmission line in the medium we also have it in the short it is negligible but mostly if they're talking of the long transmission line so you have the capacitance effect what happens is that the receiving end voltage is greater than the selling end voltage and then the load is not drawing power from the source rather it is supplying power back to the source so this is called Ferranti effect and this is just written over here is that the uh, current uh, voltage increase and the magnetization current is that which flows through transformers and the induction equipment. So that thing is that this would, operating, would be operating again at a lagging power factor inductive equipment so the current would lag the voltage and this means the reactive component would increase reactive component is I sign of phi if reactive component increase the power factor decreases. Fridge, AC, water motor, energy saver, fan. So these are the things that you know uh, deteriorate your or damage your overall power factor. The overall power factor of the house of the residential consumer is about equal to unity or 0.9 or 0.8 you could say. It's a good power factor for the residential consumers. Industrial consumers have motors so, so, so they you know damage the power factor. They operate at a lower power factor and they've got a penalty for that. They have got a, a certain power factor limit if they fall below that limit so they have to pay a penalty for that so anyways i think i will finish this video over here i don't want it to get longer uh, if i have a point somewhere over here so i'll just see it effects of poor power factor equipment tends to draw more current to overcome the kvr thus overloading the system the high current due to poor power factor increases the voltage drop thus reducing the voltage at the utilization end the high current increases the power loss in the system hence reducing the efficiency with greater power loss the economy of the system is badly affected in order to compensate for the high current the area of cross section of the conductor must be increased so the weight of the conductor will increase resulting in poor utilization of the conductor material with impact on economy and number six is that you also have transients transients are significant so number six is that you have significant transients due to lower power factor right yes so I will finish this video now over here. In the next video, we will talk about just an introduction to the power factor improvement. We will not go into the mathematical details. Anyways, whatever it is, see you in the next video very soon. Till then, take care of yourself, everyone around you. Do remember me in your prayers. Do subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.